I'm not perfect. I'm human and I'm going to make mistakes and I'm right. trying to get it right. Please keep me and my family in your prayers. Father uh, should never cuss his children. Man, fuck church folk. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Strip your title away because you say words. You feel me? Just because you're not acting accordingly to the Bible at every second of your life don't make you, you know what I'm saying, less than. And then and I some, hate it when people got to apologize for being who they really are, man. The world's so sensitive right now, you can't even say half a, or a piece or a, a percentage of what you want to say because they're going to take it and run with it and try to make their own narrative with it. Make sure y'all hit the like button for me, man. If you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate you, man. I swear I rock with y'all so heavy because y'all rock with me. What's up with the YouTube fam, man? I'm back in with another video. Look, man, a lot of y'all been asking me to talk about this Kurt Franklin situation. I don't even know what it's about, but we're going to go ahead and check this out. I'm going to tell you what I feel about it during the video and after the video. So if you don't want to hear me talking, all you got to do is get off of here. I'm pretty sure y'all already seen this before y'all even got here anyways. But anyways, bro, uh, to all my supporters, man, make sure y'all hit the like button for me. That's all I ask for y'all to do is just hit the like button. And I got the cussing pastor. I found the clip of him speaking on this, too, and I added it to the video. So we're going to see what he's talking about at the end, too. But, uh, yeah, anyways, man, let's go ahead and jump straight into the situation. Up a piece of paper. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Typical channel, man. So if I hey, if I laugh about this shit, man, hey, it is what it is. But anyways, bro, don't he sound like Pinky off of Friday right here? Yeah, I swear he sounds just like Pinky from Friday right here, bro. I just had to say that, man. He caught me on goal with this right here, man. Damn. <laughs> for what they do but you can tell the way that, that the conversation is going that it's not that the daddy's being the Kurt Franklin is being a bully or anything like that I just feel like shit you know they're just bumping heads you know doing what men do but at the same time and I don't, I don't feel like it's, it's right or it's morally correct to put you in your family's business out there to the public for them to decide or speak on shit you know what I'm saying like like what we do you know what I'm saying the people on YouTube and stuff like that we give our commentary on these type of situations if people don't want to be talked about and stuff like that, they shouldn't put this out, out here for people to speak on it. But at the same time, they wouldn't do it if they didn't want to be spoke on, if y'all feel what I'm saying. But uh, yeah, man, I feel like this dude just doing this for fame. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, y'all can dislike it. I don't give a damn. It is what it is. I'm gonna say my piece on it. I'm gonna tell you how I honestly feel about the situation. The son was trying to get clout off the, or, or sympathy off of this situation right here. It's obvious that He's, he's disrespectful too. Look what he was telling him. He basically was like booking back. You know, if you really don't want an issue with somebody, you ain't even going to be on the phone. He recorded this. He set this shit up. He did this on purpose. Bro, I don't care what nobody say. How can you not understand that this can be something that's, that, that'll that tarnish your father's legacy? You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk more about it at the end of the video, though. Therapy. You put your hands on me in therapy and the cops will call. If y'all were godly men, y'all wouldn't be talking to me like this. This ain't godly. This ain't godly. This ain't godly. You see, y'all already know I gotta stop for YouTube's policies, but bro, y'all see what he's doing? It's so manipulative. Like, look what he's saying and doing. You trying to tarnish this man's legacy. If I got a father in this type of position in life, I'm not gonna be doing all this just for him to lose it all overnight, over due to me and him having a discrepancy at the time, you know? I mean, I feel like it's a time and place for everything. So, I mean, if we got a problem and he's sitting down like me, and if we can't come to an agreement, some type of mutual agreement, we just need to communicate no more. But doing it like this, promoting this type of, uh, of, of behavior to the world and the media to see about your father, the person who had a hand in raising you, don't make sense to me. I just don't get it, man. I don't get why dudes record other dudes. 
it ain't really no reason for somebody to be recording a conversation. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You're already on some fishy shit if you got to do all that. But yeah, man, I know some people going to have something to say about this and about that. But hey, I really don't give a damn. It's just my opinion over here. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the dude is really doing too much trying to trying to tarnish his dad's career because he's emotional right now. And that's the thing with a lot of young men these days and a lot of older men too. They're so emotional, man. They don't rationally think and they'll just do anything at any time. Not thinking about the, the damage that, and the turmoil that can cause the family over time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, I'm telling my hands and shit. I just got the shot. I'm kind of ashy. But anyways, man, let's get back to the video. <laughs> Many of you know I have an older son named Carrie Ann Franklin. In May, he'll be 33. For many years, we have had a toxic relationship with him as a family. We've tried for many years through counseling, through therapy, to try to rectify this private family matter. Mm. Recently, my son and I had an argument that he chose to record. I felt extremely disrespected in that conversation and I lost my temper. And I said words that are not appropriate. Like any and I'm would. sincerely sorry to all of you. I sincerely apologize. I want you to know as a father that during that conversation, I called the family therapist and got that therapist on the phone to try to help. He never played that part of the recording. Like I say, man, it's someone right about the phone conversation from the beginning. Because why Why are you even recording? Like, it's like you knew that this was finna happen. Like you set it up for me to fall victim to this type of situation right here. You know what I'm saying? And I hate it when people got to apologize for being who they really are, man. The world's so sensitive right now. You can't even say half or a piece or a percentage of what you want to say because they're going to take it and run with it and try to make their own narrative with it. Being weirdos, you know what I'm saying? Just tripping. Sometimes you got to take stuff for what it is. When somebody presents it to you, it is what it is. Hey, this might be Kurt Franklin on the other side that you might not know about. You know what I'm saying? But he doing his job when he's supposed to do his job. That's all that matters. He's being professional. He needs to be professional. This right here was a private family matter. That's why he stressed it like that when he just said it. A private family matter. And like I say, man, we don't know what's been happening before after this. You know what I'm saying? But we talking about the video right here. We ain't talking about 15, 30 years ago. So, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he, the dad possibly could have did back then, it is what it is. But right now, in this moment, he the, the son was out of line too. You know what I'm saying? And I say Kirk Franklin was out of line because he should have been holding his composure at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, this, I'm not biased on this channel. Kirk Franklin, he lost it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, he's human. So he's going to do that. I just feel like, you know, when it's your son, you're supposed to sit examples. We're going to sit down and make this right. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel about it, you know? But hey, it's only so much stuff over time can make you explode. So it is what it is, man. I just honestly feel like that uh, they need to sit down and have a talk, bro, for real. Let's go ahead and jump back to the rest of the video. Know I'm not perfect. Talk. I'm human and I'm going to make mistakes and I'm Straight trying up. to get it right. Please keep me and my family in your prayers. It's early Sunday morning. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> but I got a message for my brother, Kirk Franklin. Yeah. Man, you owe nobody an apology. Mm. The situation with you and your son is a private matter. Your son set you up to go public Trying to do the same thing they do to me, man. This is how I became the cussing pastor. And see, you know what I'm saying? You, if you got some game, you can see what, what just took place. Like, I ain't like y'all already know, man. I'm be watching these damn videos before I show them y'all. I ain't got no reason to lie to y'all. He said exactly what I just said, bro. Like, this is a setup. If you got some game, you already can see what you can peek the play from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, shit, the pastor already know how it is, man. People are always trying to set you up. A person will text you anything just to get a reaction out of you just to show it to the next person. Or a person will call you and say some shit just to get their reaction so somebody else can hear something. Just messy, childish, weirdo stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly feel like that... Uh, Kirk Franklin didn't didn't realize his son was stooped that low. And I'm saying stooped that low because if you put somebody out there that, that, that's supposed to be your family, anybody in general that ain't causing you no harm, bro, you tripping, man. That's just me personally. But y'all know I got to talk during these videos. So it is what it is. Let's jump back into it. Was because somebody took some of my cussing and thought that they could turn the cussing into something evil. Hmm. And it's been nothing but a blessing for me. Straight up. Man, 
these church folk, and I've read some of the comments on many pages from church folk who are criticizing you and saying that you're supposed to uh, apologize. Man, you owe no one no apology. Thanks. Your son is a grown man that got out of order. He disrespected you. And as a man and as a father, you did especially what you're supposed to do. Cuss his ass out. <laughs> and isn't it funny, man, that how all of these church folk who cuss are coming down on you and saying that it was not heavenly or you're wrong and that a father uh, should never cuss his children. Man, fuck church folk. <laughs> and let me tell you something. As a grown man, oh, if your son <laughs> disrespects you or continues to ever disrespect you again, stomp his ass <laughs> until he hear melodies from heaven. And these church folk, <laughs> they holier than thou ass. You have a good Sunday, brother. <laughs> Straight up, man. Hey, I love them cussing pastor, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I rock with him so strong, bro, because he 1,000, man. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, uh, I don't see how people can literally try to strip your title away because you say words. You feel me? Just because you're not acting accordingly to the Bible at every second of your life don't make you, you know what I'm saying, less than. And then... For some people, that's what you get for idolizing somebody else more than you. You should idolize your creator or your or whatever you believe in or yourself. You know what I'm saying? People put somebody else above them. And then when they do something they don't like, they'll try to criticize them and really do all this extra shit to diminish them when you got to realize they're human just like you. You know what I'm saying? They're human just like you. So how can you fault them for being how they be? You know, that's just my opinion, man. But y'all tell me what y'all feel about this whole situation in the comment section. Make sure y'all hit the like button for me, man. If you made it to the end of this video, I really appreciate you, man. I swear I rock with y'all so heavy because y'all rock with me. May it, for everybody who hit the like button for me, when I ask y'all too, man, I really appreciate that as well. But uh, yeah, man, make sure y'all uh, add all my social medias. You know what I'm saying? My Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, just in case something happened to this channel. But anyways, man, that's all I got to say about the whole situation. I'll holler at y'all later. All right.